Hello, I am Miscellaneous, reviewer of the Miscellaneous. Segway. Don Bluth is a former Disney animator who set up his own animation studio, Don Bluth Productions, creating some classic and not-so-classic films. Some of these films have received sequels, although Don Bluth had no involvement in them. Yes, it's true. Don Bluth was involved with Bartok the Magnificent, a spin-off to Anastasia. As it says on the DVD, the lovable hero from Anastasia is back. Wait, what? I mean, lovable I can understand, but... Hero? He was the villain sidekick in Anastasia, who switches sides at the end because... I don't know, I think he just got tired of the whole kill the girl thing. In all honesty, this film really doesn't fit in with the events of Anastasia. If it's a prequel, then why does Hero Bartok end up being a villain sidekick? If it's a sequel, why is there a Tsar again? By the way, I'm not gonna bitch and moan about historical inaccuracies in this film. It's not what I'm looking at. And considering this is a movie with talking animals, witches, whatever the hell Jennifer Tilly and French Stewart lend their voices to, historical inaccuracies are the least of my concerns. Now, I rather enjoyed this movie in my younger years, and well, how does it hold up? Let's take a look. We open with a song about the evil witch Baba Yaga, who's so evil she steals children, darkens the skies, and makes the animation choppy. Emperor of Plagiarism? Why didn't you inform me you were watching this film? Sorry, um, is it one of your favorites? Actually, I've never seen it, but any film that starts off with a song about an antagonist is fine by me. Okay, then. We then meet our title character, Bartok, played once again by Hank Azaria. In this film, he goes from town to town in a CGI wagon, putting on shows about how MAGNIFICENT he is! Of course, he's just bluffing. I would do a Nostalgia Critic Bear joke here, but I'd like to save room for other references. Well, why don't you try this on for size? After saving the people of Moscow from the bear, he earns the appreciation of young Prince Ivan in the form of a royal ring. Ludmilla, the awkwardly animated regent, played by the over-the-top even when sitting down and drinking Catherine O'Hara, is not pleased. You can't go around giving royal jewels to commoners, <laughs> especially street performers. You must show respect for your crown. If you don't, how can you expect the peasants to? Your Highness? Are you listening to me? I'm tired of listening to you, Lamilla. <gasps> if I am the future czar, then I will do as I choose. And it is you who must respect the crown. <laughs> My apologies. Meanwhile, in Bartok's cottage, the bear's alive. 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 Why do you do that? I hate when you do that. <laughs> ah, that never fails to amuse me. <laughs> oh, you're certainly not going to let the fact that I got the better of you ruin, quite possibly, one of our finer performances to date. Hmm? The bear's his partner. Yes, this is Zosie. Bartok's partner in crime, voiced by one of two other returning Anastasia cast members, Kelsey Grammer, who is in full-on sideshow bop mode, without the evil. You're not planning on keeping that, are you? What are you talking about? He gave it to me. Yes, but he's a child. It is a ring for royalty, and you should know better. Okay, now, uh, let's go over this whole ring debate. Let's see. 
Well, the ring is a ring for royalty. But does Ivan as the future Tsar have the right to give it away? And it was a gift. Then again, Zozi is right that Ivan's still a child and may not necessarily know what's best for his kingdom. However, Ivan seems like a nice kid. Hell, he's voiced by Arnold. And it's possible he knows what he's doing. Then again, it's still possible that the whole doesn't know what's best thing does apply. My brain hurts! Okay, forget the ring argument. Back to the plot. Will you give the prince back his ring? Uh, well, what's the hurry? He's not going anywhere. The prince has been kidnapped! <gasps> yes, Prince Ivan has been kidnapped! And Lamilla knows who did it! How? Allow her to explain in an over-the-top manner! For she left this iron tooth behind! Baba Yaga! Baba Yaga! Wait, is that who I think it is? Baba Yaga! In this town! Ha! Who, who can rescue our prince from the evil Baba Yaga? I know someone. <laughs> and whom do the young impressionable children suggest? Hey, Sozy, will you take it easy up there? Hey, you mess there, me pint-sized matey. Man the hill, batten down the hatches. Rough seas ahead, there's a storm a-coming. Okay, there's being an eccentric actor in character, and then there's this. Our young Tsar has been taken by the evil witch Baba Yaga. <laughs> Our people and the royal family have called on you to save him. Go to the Iron Forest and return with our Tsar. Whoa, what a scary ink blot! My schedule is extremely tight. Hmm, perhaps I could squeeze it in when I get back from Minsk. I assure you, uh, you will be handsomely rewarded. <laughs> we're in the money! We're in the money! Mr. Bartok? Oh no, here comes the poor little girl device. Please, Magnificent Bartok, save my czar. You see, it's, it's complicated. Please. Oh, I'll do it. So now it's up to save Prince Ivan and oh yeah, Zosie. Yeah, he seemed really against it in the last scene. Don't even think, don't do it. So he's surely going. I believe we should do it. What? We should do it. What? We should do it. Don't do it. We should do it. Don't do it. We should do it. Well, oh, that was sudden and poorly explained. With an inspirational song to get them going, the duo soon arrive at the foreboding Iron Forest, where... <laughs> Why have you come here? I... Well, I know what's gonna be in my nightmares tonight. I mean, seriously, the angles, the design, the CGI, the choppiness of the CGI, the voice of Tim Curry, this thing is terrifying! Do you like riddles? 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 Could you answer one? If I do, will you let me in? Why not? Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Ready? If a section of fence is 68 feet long and 5 feet wide, and the parallel section is the same length, but both perpendicular sections are twice as long... Carry the six. What is the key that will open the witch's door? I'm sorry, I lost you there. What was... A skeleton key! That's exactly what I was just gonna say, a skeleton key! The skull refuses to let Zozi in, leaving Bartok alone to face the evil witch who soon arrives. Who is in my house? Yes, this is the feared Baba Yaga, 
Voiced by the other returning Anastasia cast member, she's totally the best part of the movie. Her song is the best. She's awesome in everything she does. She was Miss Fallon, Jimmy Utron. I got to see her in the Broadway revival of Pippin. Why do I freaking love her so much? Andrea Martin. Tonight there's no one in the hallway. No one left or right. But my hallways all say someone's in my house tonight. No one by my fire. No one sit at me. My fire. Enjoying the song very much. Ah, you've come for the prince. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. But why have they sent you? Filthy little creature, not quite a rat, not quite a bird. You certainly are not a worthy adversary for me. The evil Baba Yaga! Yeah, well, appearances can be deceiving. I think. Yes, they can. <laughs> Baba Yaga agrees to tell Bartok where the prince is if he first proves his worth by collecting three items from the Iron Forest, or he will die. Head south to the ice quarry and ice bring quarry. Pilaf to me. Bring. Okay, how am I gonna know this Pilaf? Ugh, go and tell your furry friend if he helps you in any way, you'll both die. I must say it is rather exciting, the first of three gifts you must search out and bring to her. Uh-huh. And I can't help it anyway. That's what she said. That's what- If you say that's what she said one more time, I'm gonna pop you. They eventually find Pilaf, voiced by Jennifer Tilly, and try to bring her back to Baba Yaga. One problem, though. You see, I'm stuck. <laughs> Ow! Bartok manages to dislodge the boulder and get it over to the entrance, where Pilaf somehow pops off. I'll just assume it was an adrenaline rush. Oh, you brought me pillows! No, Baba. Oh, oh, I was stuck to a rock. <laughs> so, Pilaf is Baba Yaga's pet. And why was she stuck to the boulder in the first place? Bartok's next task is to retrieve the crown of Obli, the giant metal worker, who brings a new definition to the term flaming. Well, how about hey, it's hot, hey, hi, 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 hot, 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 has to use the boulder and Obli's crown to retrieve the magic feather. Defiant! Defiant! Wrong magic feather. It floats high in the air. <laughs> in the middle of a clearing. <laughs> One feather coming at you. <gasps> One less thing. Yeah, watch that. You cannot fly. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> How did they get the boulder there? <laughs> this is absurd. How are you supposed to get 35 feet in the air with a large crown and a boulder? You just can't do it. Well, no, I can't. Especially now that it's all in pieces like that. It's, um, in pieces. Aha! <laughs> But of course. <laughs> Wait, was was Zozi using psychology on him? 
Isn't that technically helping him in some way? In fact, that's the second time Zosie helped, because he answered the riddle when they brought back Pilaf. Actually, we never saw them answer the third riddle, so he may have helped Bartok three times. How is it they're not dead yet? Now that all three items have been brought in, Baba Yaga reveals that she still needs one more thing from Bartok himself. Not knowing what it is, Bartok offers various objects, but none of them are it. Besides, the stuff he's offering doesn't seem to be worth much. Now, if he had an autographed portrait of Ivan the Terrible, maybe it would be a bit different. Okay, okay, here it is, the motherload, an autographed portrait of Ivan the Terrible. I, uh, I caught him in a good mood. No, that's not it. I said maybe. It's something from here. Huh. Here, here you go. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? Hey, stop it! Why don't you stop laughing at other people's misery? You never told me I had to give you something. You're, you're a cheat and a liar. Yeah, babbling old woman with your iron teeth and your hocus pocus. It's no wonder everybody hates you. Bartok starts to leave when, wouldn't you know it, emotional turning point! Um, what are you doing? I'm just being a silly old woman. I didn't mean what I said. Look, nobody hates you, okay? I just... I... Oh, I... I wish I could give you what you need. <gasps> you just did. Uh, huh? <laughs> the most important ingredient from your heart. And now he is worthy, and so he shall see. Come. Come! Hurry up, you little rat bird! I don't have all day! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the tower! Uh, you never took him, did you? I never said I did! You never took any children! People will believe what they will, but I'm happy to live alone in the woods and not be bothered. There! Take this. You may need it. What is it? A magic potion. This will allow you to be your innermost self. When you drink it, whatever you are in your heart of hearts, you will become on the outside tenfold. Wait a minute. You mean the whole time I was doing all that stuff for me? Mm-hmm. Now leave me and save the prince. Hmm. Not a bad twist. Uh, what do you think, Emperor? You mean she was never the antagonist? I guess not. I'm sad. Now knowing where the prince is, and with magic potion in hand, our hero set back for Moscow where- What's Zosie doing? Finding an appropriate character. Uh, Zosie, I hate to break this to you, but you can't go. They think you're dead. That is exactly why a rich and multi-layered character is crucial. Just let me go tell them where the prince is. What if something goes wrong? We still don't know who took the prince. Yeah, but... What is this? Cabbage. Cabbage? Oh. That's your character, Cabbage. Great, you're gonna blend right in with the crowd. Big six-foot-tall Cabbage guy. And Sinka. The Russian peasant woman. I need a frickin' drink. Ah, oh, brave bat, you have returned from your difficult journey. Healthy, alive, apparently no worse for the wear. Oh, our congratulations. But where is the prince? Okay, it's a little complicated and fairly long-winded, so everybody listen up, huh? <gasps> And why didn't you know it? There's the prince! How fortunate that everything worked out that ain't good. Imbecile! What is that? Uh, the, that's a uh, prince? Very good, yes. Why didn't you do what I said? I did! 
I dressed up like the witch, left that too, and took the prince. And what about him? But you told me you wanted them out of the way. Well, what's he doing here? Well, I put him in that cage, in the tippy top of the tower. How much more out of the way could he be? Dead, you Dead is what he could be. Dead! It was all so perfect. Eliminate the prince, brain Baba Yaga, send a hapless oh. entertainer to save him. Yeah, it's an okay twist, but it's not surprising. Honestly, I'm glad Ludmilla's the villain instead of Baba Yaga. How come? She's prettier. My god, you're shallow. No one's perfect. Ludmilla takes Bartok's potion and, leaving him, Ivan, and Vol to drown, drinks the potion. It does not have the effect she expected. Starting today when the real Ludmilla comes out! Starting today, every rule's guaranteed to be broken. Starting today, every whisper turns into a shout! Ah! Oh, fill all my inhibitions, Molty. More than just the peasants are revolting. Starting today when the real Armella comes out. Starting today she'll be ruling the nation. No doubt. Oh yes! And starting today the whole world will be mine on a platter. Every man on a plate. Near you, peasant you, peon you. Dim-witted lout! Gee, the future looks great! That's just disturbing. Starting today when the real Lamella proves she's a ruler to rival Latilla! Starting today when the real Lamella comes Okay, how come you didn't realize till just now that you're turning into Maleficent? You okay? Remember when I said I preferred Ludmilla as the villain because she's prettier? Yeah? I take it back. As Ludmilla wreaks havoc on the city, Zozi, how did he get in the tower, helps release Bartok, who goes off to fight Ludmilla, and saves Ivan and Vol. At night, the sea began to rise in waves of death. Ship against ship, the Thracian storm wind shattered us. Oh, you are very good. Thank you. The first time I performed that was in 67, the Siberian Greek Tragedy Festival. Do more. Why aren't they questioning the thespian baron drag? Bartok figures out a way to defeat Ludmilla and save everyone. Now, Bartok actually seems to be really good at being extremely clever on the spot. Why does it just feel convenient? Hey, good for you! You got it! Congrats! Oh, oh! Much better there, just up a little bit and to the left. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <sighs> Another antagonist defeated. Come on, Emperor. What did you expect? For her to kill the bat and terrorize the rest of Europe while Zozi, being the thespian that he is, makes it on Broadway with Baba Yaga, Pilaf, Fole, and Prince Ivan as fellow cast members. Some wicked witch. Yeah. It was those tasks that helped you become what you always wanted to be. And I never gave her anything. What do you mean? You gave her what she needed most, and what only a true hero could. Your compassion, Bartok. You gave her your compassion. Aww. Please, stand with me and give thanks to Bartok the Magnificent. 
He saved us, and we are forever in his debt. Please, it's embarrassing. Psst. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. That was my gift to you. Nonsense, your highness. Let me tell you something about that ring. That ring is a ring for royalty. <laughs> For everything. Yes. Well, fine. I'll be seeing ya. You can count on it. See you soon. Have Peter Shan. Bye, Bartok. Goodbye, Bartok. We magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see you later, folks. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the mist. <sighs> Show's over. Thanks. Goodness.